All right, so here I've got this uh, really old 1984 Herco KM3. Uh, I've got it set up, uh, cutting apart right now. It's just a little engraved deal. Uh, yeah, I'm using uh, Autodesk HSM and using their HSM editing software and drip feeding code to the machine via RS-232 and um, if there's anybody out there that has one of these machines um, what I found seems to be a good uh, combination to get this to work fairly well is using a 4800 uh, baud rate with a uh, 150 millisecond inner line delay uh, and that seems to work out fairly well uh, one of the issues that I was having is as the as the computer was sending code to the machine uh, the machine would uh, throw an overflow code uh, basically saying it was losing track of how all the data coming in uh, so I've reduced the baud rate enough to the point where it seems to not be doing that. However, uh, if you are running code where you're using a lot of lines um, very quickly, then you'll run into the problem of constantly having to wait for the uh, buffer to uh, uh, reload. Um, so this program is not that fast, so uh, it seems to be working out pretty well. Now, another thing is, is uh, in the software on here, um, one of the things I noticed and uh, surprised that it took me this long to figure it out is the cord error. Uh, there's a setting uh, when you're in NC mode that um, when it's it defaults to like uh, a tenth of cord error, which I don't think this machine could even hold a tenth, so it's pointless having it that small. Um, so I change it to a thousand and it's running through the code a lot faster. So uh, the contour, the speed in which it can contour is dictated by that. Uh, so before, when I when it was a tenth, it was only able to contour at like 17 inches a minute. Um, and now this will go all the way up to like 40 is the fastest I've seen it go so far. And I mean, for a machine that's 30 some years old, uh, it's pretty impressive. So, just figured I'd share.